My good lords, my good liege, I hold my honor as I hold my soul, both to my God and my gracious king. And I do think, or else this brain of mine hunts not the trail of true policy as it hath used to do, that I have found the very cause of Hamlet's lunacy. Oh, speak of that. That I do long to hear. He tells me, my dear Gertrude, that he hath found the head and source of all your son's distemper. <coughs> I doubt it's no other than the main. His father's death. In our or hasty death. My good liege, my, my good majesty, to, to expostulate what duty is, what majesty should be, why day is day, night, night, time, time, were nothing but to waste night, day, and time. Therefore, since brevity is the soul of wit, and tediousness but the limbs and outward flourishes, <laughs> I will be brief. <laughs> well, you know what son is mad. Mad, all right. For what else is it to define true madness but to say, he's mad? <laughs> More matter, with less art. And madam, I swear I use no art at all. That he is mad, tis true. It is pity. Pity it is, tis true. But, but let that go. That he is mad, we must find out the cause of that effect, or the cause of that defect, or the cause of that effect defective, which comes by cause, and the remainder thus, and thus it remains. Perfect. I have a daughter, have while she is mine, <laughs> who in her duty and obedience has given me this. Gather. and surmise <laughs> to the celestial, my soul's idol, the most beautified Ophelia. Now that's an ill phrase. <laughs> beautified is a vile phrase, but let that go. You shall hear. In her excellent white bosom, oh my. Um, <laughs> Came this from Hamlet to her? Good madam, stay a while, I will be faithful. <laughs> doubt the stars are fire, doubt the sun doth move, doubt truth to be a liar, but never doubt I move. <laughs> Thine evermore, most dear lady, whilst this machine is to him, Hamlet. This in obedience hath my daughter seen fit to show me. But how hath she received his love? What do you think of me? As of a man, faithful and honourable. Oh, I would hope, fain hope so. What might your majesty think where I see this hot love on the wing? Or, my dear majesty, your queen here think if with an idle heart I looked upon this love. No, I went round to work. To my mistress I did bespeak myself. I said, Lord Hamlet is a prince out of thy stuff. And then precepts gave I her to lock herself from his resource, refuse all messengers and tokens. And he, being thus repulsed, fell into a sadness, thence to a watch, thence to a fast, thence to a lightness, and by this declension into the madness wherein he now raves, and all we mourn for. <laughs> Do you think of this? It might be. It's very likely. Hath there been such a time, I fain know that, that I have said, to so, and it prove otherwise? Not that I know. Take this from this, <laughs> if this prove otherwise. I'll find out the truth even be hid within the very centre. <laughs> How may we try it her? You know, he sometimes walks here in the lobby some four hours. Yes, indeed he does. At such a time, I'll loose my daughter to <laughs> You and I, behind an arras there, overhear their conference. If it not be through love, his constancy has fallen off, then no assistant to estate am I, but keep me a farm and castle. We'll try it. Oh, but alas, the poor wretch comes. Uh, 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 Bestow yourselves, 
I'll board him presently. Well, God have mercy. <laughs> do, you, do you know me, sir? 